Welcome to this video on how to use the Rakuten affiliate marketing platform. In this video, we're going to run through setting up and managing your account. To find out more about the affiliate marketing advisor, you can pause the video here. And just to note that certain elements of this presentation have been redacted. So what you want to do is on the main Rakuten dashboard, navigate to the accounts tab, which will bring up the options shown in two. So the first section and probably the easiest to deal with is the contact information. So in here, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just fill in all the relevant sections for company info, um, for contacts, fill in the relevant sections. Make sure that for billing and tech, you actually have the your, your finance department or whoever is in charge of billing. And then for technical, whoever uh, the developer is, just so Rakuten um, have a direct line into that person rather than it going to like the marketing person and they don't have necessarily the expertise required. And then uh, just fill out corporate info accordingly. In advertiser settings, these are quite important. Um, and I'm gonna explain each part. So within profile, so what you wanna think of profile is, is how you sell your brand into affiliates. Rather than write something that's more, what you'd, that you'd present to consumers or investors, think about what affiliates care about. So focus on um, commissions potential, um, being a responsive and a fun, friendly brand to work with, um, a brand that has you know offers for them to promote, that has uh, new products that are coming out, things for them to talk about and create content about. It, it'll be good if you could write a bespoke message that's geared towards recruiting affiliates. So the program homepage do, and the recruitment page should feature those. And then the program listing is just making sure you select the most relevant categories for your brand and where you operate in. So for policies, you can reflect whether or not you want affiliates to conduct um, paid search. So if you're happy to delegate certain keywords for affiliates to bid on those, then um, you can set those accordingly. Um, your attitude towards coupons, your attitude, uh, if you pay commissions on a gift card, and then if you allow downloadable software, so for example, that would be say a toolbar extension. If you wanna work with affiliates that offer a toolbar extension uh, within the consumer journey, or if you'd rather not work with them. Um, I mean, generally it, it, it depends on, on your view of those affiliates. So some, the view, some may take the view that they just cannibalize sales and you don't wanna work with them. Uh, what I advise you to do is actually, if you're going to work with them, make sure they use upsell or value add incentives. So at least then if someone is going to transact um, through them, then they're actually spending more money or doing something valuable for your brand. Um, in terms of international, it's just really uh, your shipping and, uh, and availability. So just work through the um, appropriate um, actions there. And then lastly on configuration, um, it's just where you run through certain program features and, if, and also on a mobile capabilities as well. But if you have any questions on those, you know, sometimes they can be nuanced depending on your brand and what you're trying to achieve, then just leave a comment and I'll be happy to assist or get in touch with your, your contact at Rakuten. For users and permissions, it's just about setting up who um, has control and what level of control they have. So I always recommend that you, the brand, are the master user and not the network. Um, and that you know, the master user can then um, delegate authority on the program accordingly. Um, so you can set up primary users. Um, so I think the difference between primary and master is just that master users um, can set permissions for persons or for everybody, whereas primary users cannot. So a primary user can't um, change themselves to their master user. There can only be one master user. So prime users should be the day-to-day -day people that are actually running the account. And then additional users may be uh, your finance person may need uh, limited access to, to access invoicing and billing, um, et cetera. So within the transactions section, you can do quite a few things. Uh, firstly, you can find transactions and a, a history of orders, which is useful. So one thing that you may want to do is to check all of the sales for any refunds. And then you may want to decline commissions on um, any refunds. So you can find all your transactions through there. Um, you can find uh, transaction logs if you need to look into those. You can search for any manual transactions. So these are transactions that have been manually um, loaded to the network. Um, you can create a manual credit 
Um, or you can, so basically you can basically add a transaction or a manual cancellations where you can uh, uh, manually cancel um, sales as well. Say for example, refunds. Uh, within the job log, it just basically, you can basically see what like Rakuten specific actions have taken place. So if you wanted to know um, commission changes that took place on a certain date range or time, then you, you can use that. So the job log will, will show like publisher approvals or various other things that have occurred um, on Rakuten. So for billings, quite important for them. Also for your finance con uh, contacts, this is where um, invoices can be viewed um, and also paid. So publish your payments. So if you were going to pay an affiliate or let's say you're gonna pay an influencer 100 pounds for a post, what you would do is you could do it through um, this section here um, by just clicking on um, transaction um, adjustments. So you just put the publisher name in and then navigate to transaction adjustments. But you can also view how much commissions um, have been earned and you can also view transaction adjustments. So those would be um, lump sums paid to affiliates for specific media. Publisher invoicing just gives you a view of um, the actual earnings, uh, including say that if that's relevant um, to, to affiliates over different invoicing periods. And um, that, that is all. So thank you for watching. Um, like, I'd greatly appreciate it. Subscribe for more content and leave a comment if you have any questions.